Hello, it's Scott Melly here, and this is supposed to be one of those 360 videos. And today I want to give you the impression of what it would be like to stand on a planetary surface and watch as the Death Star orbits overhead. Now, clearly the Death Star here isn't set up to destroy this planet because it's far too close. No, it's just parked in orbit. Uh, I'm hoping they've paid their uh, meter fees and everything because the Empire have made a big thing of the rule of law and it would be unfortunate if an organization with uh, their pedigree decided to leave a you know million ton battle station illegally parked. Actually, million tons is completely wrong. If you look at the Star Wars Wikipedia, there is no doubt uh, exact details on the mass, the composition, uh, the importance of the kyber crystals and the... I don't know, the muonium or whatever it's made of. Uh, it'll probably tell you exactly how many stormtroopers and army troopers and everything are based on board, down to the exact number. No doubt there's somebody that's actually counted down as the stormtroopers are dispatched one by one in A New Hope. But yeah, uh, this is what you would see more or less. So this is orbiting an Earth-sized planet in Space Engine. Uh, it's orbiting at around 7.2 kilometers per second in a 4 kilometer orbit. Given that it's about 120 kilometers across, you can see that it does appear to move rather slowly and ponderously, but it is moving at 7 to 8 kilometers per second. The Death Star in this case is just a model, or sorry, it's just a planet within the space engine system. The surface maps and the bump maps actually come from a Kerbal space program planet mod for Copernicus. Let you have the Death Star and let you fly around it and down the trench and things like that. We're not doing anything so impressive here, we're just watching it fade off towards the sunset. And if you want to watch a longer version of this, it's 10 minutes long, check the link in the description. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.